friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Cher. Today we're gonna to be doing something just slightly new. We are definitely gonna be diving into some luxury beauty today. So I really want to go through the new Summer Dior 2024 collection with you guys. And then we are going to talk about a few other releases and cover some hot topic beauty news, including the very Meghan Markle possibly going into the beauty industry. So, if you want to delve in and hop in on the gossip, as well as delve into some luxury beauty, then stick around and we will hop right on in. Okay, guys, so this is definitely a little new for my channel. I've been hinting a little bit about how I've recently just really been getting more and more into what I like to call bougie beauty. I will probably be more featuring these new collections like what we're going to talk about today. So just kind of wanted to give you like a heads up on what direction I'm kind of moving into. But again, a lot of my content will not be changing, I assure you. Just maybe a few shifts in new lines that I really want to look at. So we're going to cover those today. So the first one, let's dig in and start checking out your and we'll also cover some beauty news as well. Let's take a peek at the Dior Summer 2024 collection. So at the time of my filming, it has not dropped in the U.S. yet where you can access it. It, I think, has dropped in Italy where people can shop in Italy on their website there, but not here. Um, so, but we're going to peek at what it looks like. I will read you kind of the theme here. We have an invitation to a summer getaway like a sweet summer escape. This summer's Dior's makeup collection is dressed in warm and pastel hues designed by Peter Phillips, who is the creative and image director for Dior. It's inspired by the Bohemian Summer on the French Riviera. Now, it looks like we have kind of two different look themes going on. We have the summer coral look, and then we have a summer lilac look. So your summer coral, it says that it shines the spotlight on warm browns, fiery coppers, and a touch of bright yellow. So we're definitely looking at these bright summery, coppery brownie um, colors. But for this particular look, we have a an eyeshadow palette. It's got five pans. So this might be my first Dior um, product. I'm, you know, I haven't really touched their collections. And so I'm just really wanting to get into them. Uh, the next product in this color story is the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer, another limited edition product, and this is going to be a plumping gloss. It's supposed to be instant and long-term volume effect. It claims 24-hour hydration. Do have finally have the Dior Lip Oil on the way from the Sephora sale to finally try out, um, but this is another. Now, this has lots of shades in the line, but the particular one... Um, we're seeing is the poppy coral color. I think that is beautiful for summer. And then the last product on this color story is the rosy glow blush. And so again, limited edition, color awakening blush, a natural glow effect. And again, we have the shade poppy coral. So we're seeing like these poppy colors in our blush and lips. Okay, and then we look at the summer lilac look. And so I will tell you that lilacs are so in for summer right now. This is going to be the color. This is kind of the main makeup and beauty color of the season is lilac, like these soft lavenders. Um, you also have like a blue color, um, lots of denims and chambray and all of that in your fashion. So like cornflower blue is what I'm hearing kind of in fashion, but in beauty, a lot of it is this lavender lilac color. But then another eyeshadow palette. This one's still the same name, eyeshadow palette wardrobe. Um, and this one has more of the mint heart and the soft lavender shades. Again, your five pans in here. And this one we have again in the lip maximizer, the shade pink lilac. So beautiful. So always, I'm always looking for these lilac colors. And so that looks gorgeous. That is like the perfect lavendery shade. And similarly, in the blush shade for this one, we have the shade Pink Lilac again. And similarly, with these summer colors, we're also going to get two new nail polish shades. One is in the shade Lemon Glow, and the other one is in the shade Pastel Mint. This Pastel Mint, it, yeah, like more of a mint color, kind of like 
minty greeny bluey looks like and then your lemon is a little bit like mustardy muted yellow definitely all of this does scream um summer colors to me i think that they did uh nail the summer colors and then you've got a couple other things in the collection we have an addict lip tint in natural hibiscus the forever glow maximizer in the shade nude Okay, and then next, let's talk about the Tom Ford collection. So um, this one is available now, and yours truly just might happen to have picked up the eyeshadow quad and is on the way from the Sephora sale. My first Tom Ford palette, $90 for a little quad. I had to have it. All right, so in the Soleil Summer collection, I probably don't say it right, Soleil I gotta start getting my pronunciations right if I wanna be bougie, right? So we have the Soleil Summer Eye Color Quad. Originally it was listed at $95, but on the Sephora, at Sephora, I believe it's only $90. And then if you have your, add your Sephora sale on top of that, which if you are rouge like me, then you get 20% off of that. So this one is called Emerald Dusk is the, shade range you've got this gorgeous green popping i did put in my community tab wondering if you guys saw the similarity to the um violet voss palette that i got in the in my boxy charm and it's not really a dupe you know obviously it's probably not going to be a dupe formula wise but just thought that it looked like similar shades that were in that violet voss palette so i may just bring you guys like a dupe video or a similarity, you know, compare and contrast video on that one, on the shades. Whenever my palette comes, I'm so excited for it to get here. All right, so you've got that eyeshadow quad, and then you also have a highlighter. Um, this is Nude Sand. And then you have the Soleil Summer Liquid Lip Blush. So interesting product here, what it's being marketing as is a moisturizing liquid balm but it's a hybrid that also enhances the lips natural color, a lustrous shine finish and offers a fuller looking pout. So it's supposed to be, you know, plumping the lips, more of like a balm, but also with a shine, the shine of like a gloss, if that makes sense. And don't let the blush part confuse you, even though it says blush, this is more of a lip product. I mean, I suppose you could put it on your cheeks and see, you know, you're gonna have more of a liquid and a shine in there, but um, it's more for the lips and it's just, it's a hybrid of a balm with a gloss type finish, you know, for, uh, that's also plumping. And then we also have another lip product and this is the Ultra Shine Lip Color. So a little bit more like a lipstick and you have a lot of vibrant colors in this, 11 shades to choose from, lots of reds and berries, a little bit of like hot pinks. So very vibrant colors for summer described as a hydrating ultra shine. So that's gonna be the finish for you. And that's everything I know on the Tom Ford Soleil collection for summer. Um, so just stay tuned to that eyeshadow quad. I cannot wait to play with it and bring you guys um, a look and review on it. All right, we also have some things that are out in the, Sh on the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk collection, some new additions in that collection. Um, they are out now, so this is a little older, not brand new breaking, but like within the last week, I believe. So, <laughs> just cracking up at the packaging though. Um, I did also pick up one of these Pillow Talk Big Lip Plump Gasms, is the name of it. Brilliant name, by the way. Um, I do have one on the way from the Sephora sale, so I will definitely bring you a review on it too when it comes. Um, but you've got a couple of shades coming out in this. There's a fair medium, which is like a pink nude shade. And then you have a medium deep, which is more of a brown berry pink. I just want to show you though, like, what is that? Okay. It's lips with a lipstick, but if you don't look closely, it looks like something else on that packaging. So I just want to say, but I still really love this packaging. It's very girly, like kind of that quilted look on the top. So still kind of cute. And I just had to have it. So I picked it up. So I'll let you know and bring it to you. We've also got 
Pillow Talk Multi Glow Highlighter, uh, priced at $45. Um, and it's like a little compacts. There's one that's gonna be more of a cool tone nude pinks and one that's more warm tone pinks, but you've got some different shades in it. So I love that, that it kind of includes a different range in there of the highlights. Um, and then you have also got in this collection, Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Cheeks Secrets. This is a little set. It's gonna include a mini lipstick, liquid highlighters, and then full size lip gloss in a nude pink shade. And then in addition to that, you've got collagen lip bath. Um, these are going to have, there's two different ones. There's going to be a fair and a medium. So fair is going to be more cool tone. Medium's a little more sheer, warm towards the very pinks. Um, so a little bit more in that whole Pillow Talk family. I've got, of course, you know, your classic Pillow Talk lips. And so I still wanted to be a little part of this collection. So I did pick up that plump gasm. I cannot wait to try. I've seen a couple of reviews now. A couple of people picked them up and uh, did hear that they had tingling lips from it, but it made their lips very plump. I don't always do well with the tingles. <sighs> like, the, you know, if it has that burning sensation in the lips, so I'm going to hope I can tolerate it, but I love me some Charlotte Tilbury, so we're going to try. And some more um, exciting drops coming from Armani Beauty. We have the uh, both some bronzers, some summer bronzers, luminous silk sunlit creamy bronzing powder, only in Europe at the moment, not here in the US, but hopefully coming soon. And it's going to create kind of that Mediterranean glow is the idea. Um, there's going to be four different shimmery shades in it, but it's supposed to be a pretty like thin um, texture, but with like even coverage. And then we also have new liquid blushes from Armani. So these are called their Luminous Silk Cheek Tints. Some of you may know about this. This is the first I've heard of it. And this is, this looks amazing to me. It, you know, the little packaging looks a lot like their, um, you know, foundation, which I do have that on the way as well from the Sephora sale. Um, but these are cute little like cheek ones that look like lipsticks. So they look like a little lipstick, but they're for the cheeks. So they're supposed to give a natural, fresh blush that blends in with your skin. Ultra thin formula. Super exciting. Gives a subtle glow also, or uh, build it up to a more intense glow. So in this world of all the liquid blush out there, this is definitely one I am stoked to try. It just says that it's coming soon, so I don't know exactly when this will drop, but looking so forward to it. And then we also will probably be hearing about the Chanel Summer 2024 collection as well. So I'll try to bring that to you, but I don't know the details at the moment. Okay, so now let's talk a little beauty industry news. So did want to touch on Grand Lash as well. So I am going to be bringing you guys a video talking solely about this product, the Grand Lash MD from Grand Cosmetics. And this was in our Allure Beauty Box for any of my Allure folks out there just here in April, and I just got it as well. So I am going to be testing it out and see if, you know, how it works on the lashes. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because there is a lawsuit that's been going on against Grand Cosmetics. Um, and in this video, I will share more details and give you a lot more of the information um, behind that lawsuit. So we will talk about it. So be looking for that video soon. Um, but just as a quick overview, there has been a consumer lawsuit against Grand Cosmetics and Grand Cosmetics just settled back in March um, for like $6 million settlement. Basically the basis of this lawsuit was that there's an ingredient in the some of the products. There's three different products in question with the brand where that it went against the New Jersey consumer law protection laws where they needed to disclose, you know, certain ingredients that could have adverse side effects. And so there's an ingredient in there that supposedly could have pretty um, harmful side effects, including, you know, vision loss, um, disco eye discoloration, things like that. There's a little discrepancy between this ingredient and another one that's a lot more controversial controversial that I think a lot of consumers get confused about. Um, but in a nutshell, the consumers were basically claiming that 
it was not properly disclosed and that some people had some adverse side effects from it. Um, Grand Lash maintained that they've done nothing wrong. They have admitted no wrongdoing. However, they have agreed to settle and they have agreed to now include some extra language or what they call enhance the labeling um, to include you know, some extra warnings in there. So I did just want to kind of keep you up to date that this lawsuit did happen, but that it has now been settled and Grand Cosmetics has agreed to provide a settlement. So as I hinted, Meghan Markle, we all know her as what the Duchess of, what is her title? I, I don't even know. Uh, but basically it looks like she might be dabbling in a little bit of beauty. So she has started a company. So far, we don't know a lot. It looks like it's going to encompass a lot of other things as well, like home decor, um, lifestyle type goods as well. But beauty and skincare, makeup, all those things is definitely one big facet of it. She has just created the first few steps towards creating a social media page and is getting it ready and set up for what we might be seeing in beauty. So this is kind of exciting. You know, so many celebs out there, like celeb makeup and beauty at the moment is just all the rage. Like we even had The Rock who just developed his own men's skincare. You know, we're seeing it everywhere and it does very, very well. Um, so I'm kind of not surprised to see this venture. It will be really interesting to see what niche um, she's going to be bringing us, but I would imagine it's going to be something pretty bougie and I am here for it. Um, so yes, that's one thing in the beauty news. We've also got, I don't know, this might be a little old, but uh, Selena Gomez is looking to sell rare beauty. I am floored. I mean, I guess I see like she could probably just make like billions off this sale. <laughs> um, but this is probably the most booming business out there, like one of the most booming beauty businesses there is. Her marketing is absolutely stellar. Her brand is incredible. All of her launches are just, you know, they're innovative. They very much speak to her. I absolutely love her brand. She is, her brand is one of my favorites of all. I think she's the top beauty brand out there behind Rihanna. Um, if I remember that correctly, you know, behind Fenty Beauty. And so, um, but she has actually hired attorneys, you know, business attorneys to start looking into a possible sale. This kind of distresses me personally, but let me know what you guys think, because I feel like she is the face of this company. I, I just, I don't see it being the same if she sells, but there's definitely some contenders out there. People, you know, speculation as to who could be buying from her. Um, and we don't know a lot more than that other than right now she's in the consultation stages to see, you know, what would she make from this sale? Um, what would it look like? What, you know, what steps would she have to go through? So we could be looking at a potential sell, sale of Rare Beauty. Not happy about it personally. <laughs> now, in other beauty news, we also have Beauty Bakery that just closed their doors. Wow. Um, so this one is interesting. She didn't close because of bad sales or supposedly, supposedly it is for her Christian views. So she's going to be starting a podcast. She's going to be going in a different direction. So to kind of summarize her beliefs and her, you know, the basis behind it, this is in my own words. Sometimes I don't, you know, I kind of paraphrase, um, but it was basically, I think the hustle and bustle of the corporate world, the corporate beauty world, uh, just didn't seem to align with her religious values. And she, when I say she, I'm talking about the owner of, of Beauty Bakery, by the way. There's some mixed reactions on this. There's, you know, a lot of people who have reacted negatively to it because, and I do agree to with this part of it to a certain extent that, you know, you can still be a woman with a career, a high powered career and still honor God and honor your Christian faith. Um, on the other hand, I also am a big fan of just of following your heart. And if something is no longer aligning with your soul and with the direction you want to go in, by all means, you have the freedom to change your mind and nobody else should tell you what you want to do. That's my, so, you know, I kind of have mixed thoughts on it myself. You know, I know several other people recently who have just completely gotten out of their career, had very successful, powerful corporations or 
uh, YouTube channels or social media, you know, in a very high power position and they just quit because it wasn't great for their mental health anymore. They just, they were not happy. So it's interesting reactions. I guess I am always one for uh, cheering you on if you feel in your heart something's not resonating with you. Always go with, you know, your dreams and your, you know, what your soul is aligning with. That's my belief system. Um, I guess on the other hand, all those people who might be losing their jobs with Beauty Bakery and, you know, we never liked seeing products that we like no longer available. Yet another one that's going bye-bye. Um, now, as one door closes, another one opens though, because we have Coastal Scents that is now coming back to the beauty world. So they had shut down a while ago and now it looks like they might be making a return as well. I don't know too many more details, but this is just the beginning steps to, to possibly making a comeback. And this is a brand that I've, I've done a few things with them, um, from them. And you have a few like ride or die products that was all the rage way back in the day. And then they kind of petered out. So it'd be interesting to see what they're going to come back and do as well. There's also been some talk about Olaplex um, not doing and not faring quite as well recently. Now, um, I have a whole video out there that I did just kind of sharing like how to navigate the Olaplex system and like the number systems and what they meant. And I still love Olaplex. It's one of my favorite hair brands. I just picked some up on the Ulta sale again. Um, but I guess in the news, they're basically saying they had not been doing as well because of the fact that they had started selling at Walmart and Walmart is actually looking to get into a little more like luxury products and carrying them. Not so much getting rid of all their affordable stuff, but just making it available, um, to people too. So that when you have folks shopping there for more affordable products, they can grab some of these other ones too while they're there out of convenience. And it's been actually pretty successful for them to have it. However, on the other hand, some of these more luxury specialty products, it's kind of dragging them down a little bit. And so people might be seeing Olaplex as not as luxury with it being at Walmart. So it's going to be interesting to see how Walmart fares, um, you know, as they might carry more and more luxury and it will be interesting to see how these luxury brands fare in the public eye if they're available at Walmart. All right, so that's everything I wanted to cover today in luxury collections and beauty news. I really plan to try to bring more of this to you where we just cover some of the latest collections coming out and especially that are more on the luxury side that you don't always see like uh, in you know, like I follow Trend Mood and some of those where we see some of the latest breaking makeup that's new and hot releases at like Sephora and Ulta and, you know, other makeup brands. But um, some of these collections are not there. So I kind of wanted to highlight that for you and bring this to you every so often when there's a new, like, you know, the summer release coming out, summer collections, spring collections, you know, whatnot. And also to kind of just uh, chat and stay up to date on some of this crazy beauty talk and what's going on in the beauty news world. So let me know if you like this and if it was interesting and if you want me to bring more, I will try to continue bringing it. Um, that is going to be it for today. And let me know if you're shopping any of these collections and if you love some bougie beauty like me. You'll also want to stay tuned as I bring you some of these uh, new release products from the Sephora sale that I picked up. And I'm going to try to pick up some of this Jewel collection as well. So you don't want to miss it. You want to pop that subscribe and turn the notification bells on and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.